Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our ongoing uh, science sharing series in Central Region. Today we have Jason, and is Gary going to be there, Jason? Uh, he will. He's not here yet, but uh, yeah, he'll be uh, here uh, probably the next couple of minutes. But, uh, okay, great. We're good, we're good to go ahead. Okay, very good. Uh, from uh, WFO St. Louis, and uh, talking about an atypical heavy snow event across the mid-Mississippi Valley, uh, from last February 21st. And without further ado, uh, Jason, it's all yours. Thanks, John, for the introduction. A uh, bit ironic, I'm, today I'm talking about heavy snow. As I'm looking out our front window here, we got uh, uh, water dripping off the, our roof, uh, temperatures in the mid-50s from our last snow event. And this weekend we're looking at uh, most of the area, two to four inches of rain and possible flooding. Anyway, as John said, I'll be talking about an unusual case from uh, uh, this past winter, uh, from uh, February 21st of 2013. Start with a brief introduction. This is a very rare setup for heavy accumulating snowfall, uh, at least for this part of the country. The uh, system passed well to the northwest of our uh, CWA with the surface low that rapidly occluded uh, to the lead of the Rockies. Uh, Forcing primarily responsible for the snowfall was as a uh, warm air vection driven. There wasn't any deformation type snowfall, at least uh, uh, around this neck of the woods. And for some of those reasons, it did not match uh, a conceptual model of climatology for heavy snow events across our CWA. Uh, main forecast problems for this event are like a lot of other events we have around here, precipitation type and amounts and where the snow uh, sleet line was going to set up and further to the southeast, the sleet freezing rain line. We'll start with the synoptic overview. Uh, these maps are courtesy of the Storm uh, Prediction Center. This is a 500 millibar map from 12Z or 6 a.m. on uh, February 21st. This is just prior to uh, the start of the event over, our, uh, over central Missouri. We have a 500 millibar uh, low near the Colorado-New Mexico border with a slightly negatively tilted trough extending down into the Rio Grande. Downstream, we have a ridge axis right over the uh, mid and upper Mississippi River Valley, a general area confluence uh, over the upper Midwest and southern Canada. And that uh, area confluence, as we go through time, stays fairly stationary. Uh, with, uh, that helps promote subsidence and an anticyclonic uh, uh, circulation near, near the Great Lakes, which I'll show in subsequent slides. At 0 Z, though, on the 22nd, the closed low and moves near the Kansas-Nebraska uh, border. The trough has become further negatively tilted. The wavelength between the trough and downstream ridge has decreased. 